Hey guys, it's K0MRD, your radio prepper. Coming back with a another video on unlicensed radio services. And today I'm going to be talking about the multi-use radio service, or MERS, uh, from the FCC. Multi-use radio services uses channels in the 151 to 154 megahertz spectrum range. The most common uses for MERS channels is short distance two-way communications using small portable handheld radios that function like walkie-talkies, like this. Looks similar to the FRS radio that I showed last week. However, this one, you can change the antenna. The antenna comes off and it's an SMA mail it's got the little nub in there you can change it for longer range communication okay now this is a brand recom I don't know if you can see that yeah it's a knockoff but you know 20 bucks is 20 bucks <clears throat> 20 to 25 dollars right in there off of Amazon and I'll put a link in the description as well as information from the FCC website okay licensing MERS is licensed by rules just like FRS no individual license is needed uh, this means no individual license is required for an entity to operate a MERS transmitter if it is not a representative of, for, of a foreign government and it uses the transmitter in, accur in accordance with MERS rules outlined in 74 CFR part 95 subpart J there are no age restrictions regarding who may operate a MERS transmitter so if you got little ones at home that you're trying to get into your communications or part of your comms plan which you should have already um, these are great little radios okay operations you may operate a MERS transmitter at any location the FCC regulates radio communications subject to certain restrictions a MERS transmitter must be certified by the FCC none of the MERS channels are assigned to exclusive use of any user and you must cooperate in the selection and use of channels in order to make the most effective use of them and reduce the possibility of interference. No MERS transmitter shall, under condition of modulation, transmit more than 2 watts for the transmitted power output. The usual range of communications between MERS stations is less than a few miles. Connecting a MERS radio to an external antenna can extend the range to 10 miles or more that's a good point if you want more range a better antenna it's that simple um, where was I MERS stations are not allowed to be interconnected with public switch telephone network a station identification announcement is not required to be transmitted other restrictions on the use of MERS stations also apply. Now, one of the interesting things about MERS is that certain big box stores still use these for their communications in the store. And those are on either channel 4 or 5 depending on the store's frequencies. Um, what I've done in the past is I went to my local big blue and yellow store you know the one I'm talking about and I put it on channel 5 and I have an earpiece that connects directly to here now, same earpiece you would use for a Bofang radio kinda makes you look like a uh, secret service agent or a cop whatever yeah. connect it here into the radio now all I've done is monitor 
while I was in this big blue and yellow store because to transmit would be causing interference with their operations which is frowned upon by the FCC as just noted. Now these go these are great for they're, they're a step up from FRS okay they're still not as the, the range is still not as good as a GMRS or an amateur radio. However, the license is required for these, and they can still be used by anybody, provided there is no interference caused. It's plain and simple. Uh, the channels are... 151.820 to 154.600 and there are for the first three channels there is a deviation or the bandwidth of 11.25 kilohertz and the last two are 20 kilohertz it's more technical information than you probably need but there it is and I'll put all of this information in the description as well um, MERS is a very good radio service simply because unlike FRS you can you can change the antenna on this without breaking the law and um, yes I know in an SHTF situation the laws aren't going to matter and all of that but we are not in an SHTF situation so we should be abiding by the laws of the land. Um, that's basically all it is. Uh, it's a law. So MERS is a really good step up from uh, FRS. And I use these. This one cost me maybe... Let me pull that information up, because I don't remember. Uh, anyway, it costs about $20, $25 for one radio. Okay, it's about the same for a UV5R. Okay, again, limited to 2 watts, but you can get longer range with an external antenna put high up, and, and you'd be able to reach about 10 miles, according to the FCC. Would these be good for a mag or a group or a neighborhood watch? Absolutely. Sound clarity is phenomenal. The And these you can get weather radio on. So if you have storms coming in, you can turn on your radio, flip to the uh, weather weather output and listen, monitor, especially if you've got tornadoes or something coming or severe thorns <laughs> severe thunderstorms. If I could talk I'd be okay, you know. But that's another reason to go a step up from FRS. I like FRS, it's a great little radio. I like MERS. MERS has more options for power or not so much power but distance you can change out the antenna for a longer one get more distance um, and they're still relatively inexpensive and I'll put a link for this radio down in the description and um, yeah so I hope this helps you guys further your communications preps um, and I think that's about all for right now so, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I'm out.